For those of you who follow me on Facebook or who may have watched my last live broadcast on Facebook, I had hinted that I was going to make a video to tell us about the things that I've been hearing from the Lord regarding a team that God wanted me to put together. And I call it an elite team. The team that will eventually oversee the final restoration, the final phase of the restoration of our new nation of Biafra. Um, for those of you who don't know, Biafra is a very spiritual nation. It's not one of those nations that you, you birth out of political and diplomatic negotiations. It is a nation that is birthed out of the spiritual realm or birthed in the realms of the spiritual. And that is why a lot of spiritual instructions are coming out from here, left, right, and center, regarding the birthing and the emergence of Biafra. And so today, I want to take my time to explain to you the things I've been hearing from the Lord over almost a period of three months right now. I hear stuff from God from time to time. But you know, nothing that I've heard from the Lord before regarding Biafra can rival what I'm about to share with you today. It is mind-blowing. I mean, this time around, everything has a lot of precision to it. And there's a lot of strict instructions, a lot of numbers involved and stuff like that. So please pay attention. Now, the elite team that I'm talking about is gonna be formed in three different layers, okay? Uh, there's going to be layer one or level one, there's going to be layer two or level two, and there's going to be layer three or level three. Now, the layer one, I'm going to start with layer one, and I call that the nucleus, the innermost caucus of this entire team, okay? And these people are going to form what I call the spiritual powerhouse that will sustain every other activity that the rest of the team will be having to undertake in the life of faith. So, um, the layer one is going to be made up of both men and women, okay? Now, it's going to be uh, made up of 77 men between the ages of 18 and 80 and seven women between the ages of 16 and 60. That is layer one. Now, for the men in the layer one, they are going to be both single men and married men. Now, there are going to be two levels of qualification for both the single man and the married man. So I'll start with the single man. The first level of qualification for the single man is that you have to be a virgin. You have never indulged in the act of sexual immorality before, not even for once. That's an express qualification you qualify. The second level of qualification for you as a single man is that even if you have indulged in it, maybe recently or whatever or whenever, let it be that this thing happened three months ago or more than three months ago, and let it also be that you have fully repented from that act, then you qualify. But if it happened earlier than three months ago, you do not qualify, okay? For the married man, the first level of qualification for the married man is that ever since you got married to your wife, you have never cheated on her, not even for once, okay? That's express, you qualify. The second level of qualification for you as a married man is that even if you have ever cheated on your wife, no matter when it happened, let it be that it happened six months ago or more than six months ago that's number one number two let it also be that you have confessed this sin to your wife and number three let it be that you have fully repented from it then you qualify okay i'll take it again if you have cheated on your wife it must be something that happened about six months ago or more than six months ago. You must also have confessed to your wife and you must also have repented fully from it. And if it happened prior or, or earlier than six months ago, you do not qualify, okay? Now, for our sisters, okay, they are going to be all virgins. It's not complicated. And it's a bit shocking, but that is how I got it. God said all seven of them are going to be virgins. You cannot imagine the kind of instructions that I have received from the Lord for this team of people who are going to make up the spiritual powerhouse for the entire team. And I will never be able to divulge that until we have been able to form the team and the team is set in motion. Now, I'm going to leave this particular level now and go straight to level two. But before I get to level two, let me make it clear that if you think you fall within the category of level one, 
please note that you must be a born again Christian. It's not just some random atheist somewhere who is just being a virgin and all of that and then you want to be, mm -mm. you have to be a born again Christian. That is number one qualification. And you must come from the regions that they call Southeast and South South, which is what I call the Old Eastern region. But present day Nigeria, it is called Southeast or South South. You must come from either of those two regions. If you don't come from there, please do not apply to join, okay? You have to be from that place to be able to join this particular layer one or even any other layer that I'm going to talk about. Now, layer two is going to be made up of, of clergymen. It's going to be made up of bishops, of prophets, of prophetesses, of preachers, of uh, evangelists, of seers. But listen to me, please, I have to, I have to make this, I have to give this warning. You must be real. You must not be fake. If you are fake, we reserve the right to deny you access or entry into this group. You cannot join us if you're one of those people who have compromised or who, have, who has now gone to contaminate themselves with all kinds of satanic powers to display all kinds of deceptive things to people. No, we don't want that. We want people who believe the Lord has called them. This is for preachers and bishops who are real, who are original, real men and women of God. The whole of layer two belongs to you. You're not sharing it with anybody. That's where you belong. There's going to be a leadership for each one of these levels. And I have a lot of instructions that I will give to each level when we have finally fully formed everything. I have set it all in motion. Now, level three or layer three is going to be made up of captains of industries, professionals in different fields, doctors, lawyers, or architects, whatever you are. You're a businessman, you are a scientist, you are a banker, you are an accountant, a finance professional, a real estate agent, anything you are that is outside of these other two groups that I've talked about, that is where you belong. As you are watching the video, I believe strongly in my spirit that the Spirit of God is going to witness in your heart and tell you whether you belong to the people we are looking for or not. If you get that witness, that signal that the Spirit of God is telling you, go, be a part of this, please just reach out to me, get in touch with me, and I will reach out to you personally. And if you have any questions regarding what I have explained about this team or, or these layers, please get in touch with me and I will answer your questions directly. Now, I want you to understand this. Like I said earlier, this team is going to be the team that will oversee the final stretch of our journey to our new nation. Biafra is a spiritual nation. And if not that the Lord has told me um, very, very clearly, vividly, that Biafra is coming, I will never be doing something like this because it will amount to me fooling myself. Look, I'm a career man. I have so much going for me. But I have been hearing from the Lord clearly. He said, your time has come. Remember, when Moses went to set the, lead the children of Israel out of bondage in Egypt, it was because their time had come. So what we are forming here now is not just some type of sociocultural organization. No, we are creating an elite team that will oversee the going home of our people, just like Moses did, just like Joshua did. And it has a lot of very strict divine instructions. So please pay attention. Our God does not indulge in so much diplomatic and political negotiations, even though we are going to need all of that. When he sent Moses, and Moses was demonstrating the power of God before Pharaoh, it was not diplomatic or political negotiation. It was a subtle spiritual negotiation that God was using to show Pharaoh that when he has made up his mind to set his people free, that there is nothing any power drunk thing anywhere can do about it, and that he will still have his way. And eventually he taught Pharaoh the lesson of his life. Look at what happened during the time of Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, the angel was negotiating with Abraham. And he said, Abraham said, what if you find 10 righteous people here? Will you still destroy? The angel said, no, I will not destroy. What do you call that? That was a spiritual negotiation going on right there. So just like I know that we still need diplomatic and political, let me make it clear to you that when God is the one doing it by himself, the most important negotiation is spiritual negotiation. And that is what we are about to do. These 
team that this team we are putting together the people here you are going to forever live to be grateful to god that you are a part of this because the things we are going to do we are the ones that are going to make the history our nation will emerge and mark my word today mark today's date nothing on earth no man born of a woman can stop it from coming because our time has come and our freedom can no longer be held bound thank you so much and i look forward to hearing from all of you god bless you